Hello, today I want to show you how I created with Fusion 360 the Habros of my 737 home cockpit. Let's move to the PC. Okay, these are the Habros that I created yet, but now I show you how I made it more realistic. Okay, with the draft command, I'm uh, drafting both faces, internal and external, that way. After that, I have to build the projection that the Habro has. To do that, I create a new sketch on this surface, design the area that I want to extrude the surface, and set 2 mm. With the draft commands I select the first face like that, the other face and I set a draft that way. I click on press and pull commands and I'm doing a negative extrusion like that and I click OK. I modify the sketch, select uh, this line and put it a little further to the left to be more uh, realistic. I apply another draft on the top surface and bottom surface. Here I apply a tiny radius on these two heads to give a soft shape the Hasbro have. I'm always making some adjustment every time I need it. I think it's very hard to create it a total realism. I must adapt into my design skills and ability to accomplish it. Now I'm working at the bottom parts with a spline to give it a correct shape that way. I forgot to remove this part. I do it right now. I try to make this side equal to this side. To do that I do a negative extrusion. Ok, now I have to make this face at the same height as this other face. To do it I click on extrude, select this surface, click on extension type, select two objects, click on this face object, select new body and send OK. It's complete. Ok, now I have to combine these two parts, so click combine, select the two parts and click OK. Now it's time to apply a radius on all edges to give a realistic shape.
okay this is the final result things that i don't show you in this video is the creation of the holes in the hebra to fix in the position and the division of the hebra to create a 3d part that i can print with my 3d printer the ender 3 At this point I have to export the body in STL files. To do that I click on the body, with the right click select uh, save as STL, click OK and uh, repeat this operation for the other 7 parts of the Hebrew. After that I open the slicer in my case uh, uh, repeater host and import the STL. I uh, rotate the body and put the base on the floor and then I go to the slicer and uh, I set the 25% of infill and click to slice. I have to repeat uh, this operation for all uh, Abro's parts. I have to repeat uh, this operation for the other parts. Okay, I did it. I would like to do some consideration. As you can see, the Habros was in position and aligned already with the roof surface. So may next time I'm going to make a video to show how to create it and build it from a top until to have the two parts of the Habros, right and left, with the correct roof's inclination. Another part you didn't see was the Abros subdivision to can print with my 3D printer. As I told you, my 3D printer is the Hender 3, he has a 20 for 20 working area. So I have to create the parts workable with this printer. To recreate the Abros as realistic as possible, I help myself Watching a picture, I use a 737PMDG aircraft to prepare 3D. It's clear, to make it the same like reality is complicated for some reason. But I'm very satisfied about my processing. As soon as it's ready for my website, I'm working on that. I upload all the document size and the DXF files. The following things I have to do are print the parts and assembly. I'm going to make a video about it and I'll explain how to do it. As always I thank you, I hope this video was helpful to you. Please give me a like and write me down below in a comment uh, if you have some question or what do you think about it. If you are not already seeing it up on my channel, subscribe and activate the belt so you will always keep updating every time I upload a new video also I give you in the description the links about a STL file you can download and print with your 3d printer that way if you want to make the Habros they are ready you have just print and assembly so thank you again and see you soon at the next video bye bye